coming at us all types of ways, man. Yeah. But they can't stop this truth. And, and, and it ain't no fear in the men of the Lord, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me uh, Psalm chapter 56 right quick. 56 and verse 4, man. We don't fear, man. You can have you a knife all you want to, man. You can have you a little blicky. Hey, we don't care about none of that stuff, man. We don't stand to, we're not bullying nobody. We're not bullying nobody. And look, we got, we got people down here that could be a witness to us. That we come out here every Saturday and we teach the word of God. We come out here every Saturday and we teach the word of God. Give me Psalms 56 and verse 4, King. Psalms 56 and verse 4. In God. I will praise his word. Uh -huh. In God, I have put my trust. In what? In God, I have put my trust. No, we, we trust in men. In God, uh, I have put my trust. trust. I will not fear. I will what? I will not fear. No, he got a knife. I will not, not fear. fear. No, he got a dagger. I, I will not, not fear. fear. No, he got a machete. I, I will, will not fear. fear. What flesh can do unto me? Right. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me, man. Hey, it ain't no fear in the Israelites, man. We not gonna fear what flesh can do to us, man. You know what I'm saying? The brother came over here trying to talk to you about the word of God. He came over here, we came over here to you and tried to express to you what was your nationality. You didn't want to address what your nationality was. So then you took it as us trying to come over here and, and just take over the whole spot. No, we always come out here and teach. And we didn't take it there with you. The brother went at a 10 right away, man. He went directly to a 10 when all we was doing was trying to come over here and teach you the word of God. That's all we was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the end of the day, we come out here to teach. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We're not Jehovah Witnesses. We're not Mormons. We're not Christians. We're not Muslims. We are Hebrew Israelites, man. And, and we don't fear what man can do to us, That's man. right. At all, man. That's give right. Give me the book of uh, uh, Revelation. Uh, give me Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 right quick. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Give me St. John chapter 16 and verse 2. All right, bring it out, King. This is the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wool. I do what? I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wool. All right, so the Most High sent us forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, man. We got, we got to deal with wolves of non-Israelite peoples, of European people, of, of Arab people, of Asian people, of people that all hate our own kind, man. You know what I'm saying? And we got to deal with the wolves amongst our own people, man. We got nothing but wolves amongst our own people. You know what I'm saying? But he will never have this type of energy for the white man, man. Right. He will never have this type of energy for no white man that's gunning down black men on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. He will never have that type of energy. Go ahead. Be ye therefore wise as serpent uh -huh. and harmless as dove. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils, uh -huh. and they will scourge you in their synagogue. So we, we know we got sellouts amongst our people. We gonna have people that's gonna deliver us up to, to, uh, to uh, men of councils, man. To these synagogues, to, uh, to rulers, to chief men in the earth right now, man. When, when all hell breaks loose and they're coming down upon our people, we, we know we're going to have sellouts, man. It's going to be Judas. It's going to be Judas's everywhere amongst our people. We see that all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, ain't nothing about to change. We've seen it in ancient times. We're going to see it again in this times. What happened to Fred Hampton? It was a black man that got Fred Hampton killed. What happened to Fred Hampton? It was a black man that got... Fred Hampton killed, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was black men that got who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ killed, man. Right. It was another black man that got him killed. Other black whoa, men, whoa. right? Hey, so uh, give me St. John chapter 16 whoa. and verse hey, 2. You right said other St. Black John 16 and 2, You right? said other black men got Jesus you killed, out of the synagogue. but in the Bible it you says Acts 5, verse 530, he was hung from a tree. 16 and in 2. In all versions of the they Bible. put you out of the synagogue. Ye the time coming that whosoever killed you will think that he do it to God's service. Right, so it says who, it will come a time when they think whoever uh, killeth you, they gonna think themselves to be doing God's will, man. They gonna be thinking themselves to do, give, give me Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12 right quick. Hey, give, hey. Me, give me an Acts 5, Isaiah verse chapter 30. 3 verse 12. Acts 5 verse 30. You just said Jesus was killed by some black men. Why does it say in the Bible who's hung on the tree? Okay, so, okay. So, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Because you don't know what you're talking about, man. You have no Bible. idea what you're talking about. Pull it up in Give the Bible. Mark, Mark chapter 8. I just gave you Mark the verses. chapter 8 and verse 31 right quick. Acts 5 verse 30. Pull that up. We'll bring it All up. We'll say. bring it up. We'll bring it up. Mark chapter people. 8 and verse 31. You're lying to the people. Bring that out. Lying Nobody's lying. Oh. We know that he was hung on a tree. Oh, we so know why'd that. you say he was... Oh, okay, how? So how? He, he was sold out how? by his own people. No. He was sold out no. by his own people. No. Watch this. Bring this out, King. Mark 8 and 31. Mark chapter 8 and verse 31. What you got, Ken? We'll get that in a minute. Able to be sold out? What do you mean, with how he was able to be sold out? What I mean is, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Absolutely, but let me get the scripture right quick. You got that? Uh, this is Mark 8 and 31. And he began to teach. Uh, he began to teach them that he, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priest and scribe and be killed and after three days rise again right so it says christ was rejected of the elders of the scribes and of the chief priests he was sold out by israelite men the elders are israelites the chief priests the levitical priests are the israelites so lucky brothers let's, let's let's hold it down and uh let's get let's get everything in uh in order right quick. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's get everything in order and let's hold it down. Mark 8 and 31 one more time from the top. You get your precept, King. You got that one I need? Uh, Mark 8 and 31. And, and he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elder and of the chief priest and scribe and be killed and after three days rising again. So it said he was going to be rejected of the elders, the chief priests, the scribes, which are all Israelites, and be killed. That's what was going to happen with Christ. He was sold out by his own people. Give me that. We just read it in, in uh, Luke chapter 22, verses 1 through 3. Let me get your precept right quick, King. Bring it out. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to get the Greek for the word tree in Acts chapter 5, verse okay, 30. Yeah. Because what a lot of people do is they misconstrue, they see tree, and they right. think it's, it was actual, yeah. Yeah, like an actual tree. Right. So this is the definition. It says, from another form of the base of zestes, timber, by implication, a stick, club, or tree, or other wooden article or substance. So all it's saying is that the cross was made out of wood. Right, That's absolutely. All it's saying. Yeah, he was hung on a cross. Right. He died on a cross. Right. right? And, and like the brother just said, that cross was made out of the tree. It was the right. wood, you know, that wood right. that comes from the tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so that Luke 22 and verse Verses 1 through 3. Bring it out. Uh, this is Luke 22 and 1 to 3. Uh, now yeah. the feast of the unliving bread draw nigh, which is called the Passover. Uh -huh. And the chief priests and scribe saw it how they might kill him. Saw so how they might what? They might kill him. They might kill what? They might kill, kill him. him. Right, so the chief priests and the scribes, which are Israelites, saw how they might kill the Christ, their own brother. That's what they were seeking to do, right? Go ahead. And for the fear, for they fear the people. Uh -huh. And then enter Satan into Judas, a uh, uh, surname. Uh, scary. Uh, scary. Yeah. First three, one more time. Yes, sir. Then enter Satan into Judas, a uh, surname, scary, being uh, of the number of the twelve. And he went in his way and in with the, commuted with the chief priest and captain how he might betray him unto them how he might what how, how he, he might, might betray, betray him them unto them. them so judas iscariot you know what i'm saying he, he sought the uh the, the chief priests the elders and they came together and had a council on how they might betray who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ so he was sold out by his own people man you know what i'm saying give me that in uh, isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. this is the issue that we have that as a people we have a lot of black men that carry the feminine trait of being emotional, man. You cannot be emotional as a goddamn man. Right. It's okay to show some emotion, but right. when you're having a dialogue with men, you gotta you gotta be firm, man. Right. You gotta you, you can't be all timid. You can't be you know fidgety. You know what I'm saying you can't be frantic. Right. You know what I'm saying hey, that's an off trait to have as a man. That is an off attribute to have as a man. To be all emotional. Where you get that emotion from is your fucking mama. Excuse my language. Right. But you get that from your mama, man. Right. A lot of you niggas was raised by your mom and you carry that same emotional feminine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, just all over the place, crying and you you getting, you getting all hyped up. You want to fight, 
Hey, men, real men don't act and behave like that, man. Right. All right, give me that right quick, Isaiah 3 and 12. This is Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. You know. As for my people, children are their oppressors. What does the Bible say? As for my people, children are their oppressors. And this is why we have a high uh, 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 percentage of our people oppressing the communities. Why are people scared, older people scared to walk around in the communities at a certain time? It's because children, little boys is oppressing the communities. Little boys is out here playing out the knockout games from years ago. Little boys is out here robbing old ladies in East Oakland, California. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. While she's on a damn uh, uh, walker. You know what I'm saying? There's right. videos of, of that taking place. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's children out here robbing our Hispanic brothers out here just trying to sell, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know they, yeah, what, what's the uh, other stuff they making? The, the, you know what I'm talking about, what they call them? Oh, churros? <laughs> they selling the churros, the corn, you know what I'm saying? All that. Tamales. Yeah, tamales. And, and they getting robbed by young jakes out here in these streets, man. So children are the oppressors within black and Hispanic communities, man. All right, go ahead. Children are their oppressors. Uh -huh. And women and what? And, and women. women and what? And, and women, women rule over them. And the women rule over them. Right now, we know some sisters are putting certain uh, uh, circumstances in which they have to raise the, the children on their own, and we and we commend our sisters in doing so. But like the like the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a family, man. So this is why we as a, we tell our people to come back together because we are that nation that's not desired. You know what I'm saying? And and. We know it's an agenda from the opposition to, to create division within our family households. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. ultimately, the Most High said he was going to be uh, causing that division. Right? Give me the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 35. But this is what we got to get back to. Again, it takes a village to raise a family, man. You know what I'm saying? But we know it's going to be some stiff neck and hard head Negroes like the one we just dealt with. But there's laws on how to deal with these people. You know what I'm saying? So read this one more time for me, because the one key thing I want to point out in the women ruling over them is that they have statistics that prove when the man is in the household, the, the families are uh, uh, substantially, uh, 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 like uh, significantly uh, better off with the father in the household. You know what I'm saying? It's less likely for a child to commit a crime and end up in, in, in jail when the father's in the household. It's less likely that a child will uh, 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 drop out of school when the father is in the household. Right. You know what I'm saying? And these are all facts. You can look these things up. Everybody has a smartphone. It's not hard to look up the, the statistics on having a father in the household as, as opposed to not having a father in the household. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's a curse that God said he would put upon our people. So, uh, now, albeit some of our people are locked up in these prisons, you know what I'm saying, for crimes that are now legally okay. You know, i.e. The, 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 the marijuana industry. You know what I'm saying? You got brothers doing 20 year bids off of marijuana, but now America have, have, has legalized it. You know what I'm saying? So that's a part of them being a hypocritical nation that they are. Right, but what you got, King? Uh, Matthew 10 and 35. Bring that out for me real quick. Uh, Matthew okay. 10 and 35. Bring it up. For I am come to set a man at a variance against his father and the daughter against his, her mother uh -huh. and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And, and a man's foes shall be thy of his own household. Right, so it says, and a man's foes, a man's enemies, shall be they of his own household. So we see domestic disputes within uh, intermediate families, and we see the discord amongst black people as a whole, or uh, amongst Hispanic people as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So what we, ha we have a blueprint on how to come back together, right? Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Bring this out for me one more time, kid. Isaiah chapter 13, chapter 3, verse 12. Bring it out. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Uh -huh. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. Cause thee to what? Cause thee to the err. Uh -huh. And destroy the way of thy paths. Right, and they destroy the way of thy paths, man. Because a woman cannot raise a man. She can't teach a man how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that a woman can do to show this man how to operate as a man. You know what I'm saying? The only thing, and children learn by example. If, if a young male is, if, if all he's seeing is his mom coming up, she's twerking in the mirror, she's, she's making TikTok videos, she's dancing all the time, she's 
putting the Brazilian inches in the hair. You know what I'm saying? And that, that man is gonna take on some of those so some of those traits. Even if he doesn't go the path of being a so-called homosexual, he'll still he'll carry the emotional traits that his mom has. So he's gonna react negatively to things that are uh, 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 in, in a feminine way, just like the brother we just dealt with. You know what I'm saying? He reacted. I mean, the brother was speaking to him. You know what I'm saying? Softly. <laughs> But a ten, you know, tender and delicate, like the, uh, the scripture says. You know, but the brother responded in a feminine way. Yep. Like, brother, we're not coming over here to step on your toes. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're trying to bring back into our people. We'll get to your question in a minute. Uh, bring this out right quick, King. Uh, Leviticus uh, 19 and 17. Bring it up. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. What does the law say? Thou shalt, thou shalt not hate, hate thy, thy brother, brother in thy, thy heart. heart. Right, and we see a lot of hatred amongst black people, man. You know what I'm saying? You got, what, uh, the uh, 60s, you know what I'm saying, verse 8 trays. You know, verse 20s, verse 60s. Uh, can you know what I'm saying? Can oh. I ask this though? Huh? Do, do you guys feel as if that you show that same hatred? Do we show that show that same I'm hatred? Asking. I'm, asking, I'm just asking a question. I'll, I'll tell you this. Give me Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 8. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. no. no, I'm asking you personally. I'm not asking okay, you and I'll, the Bible. And I'll, but so see, we okay. know what it says. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is, yeah. do you feel that you act in that same hatred? No, I feel we, we show hatred towards non-Israelite people, to, to non-black and Hispanic okay, people. so what I would say is yeah. that get that plank out of your own life uh -huh. before you So now let me ask you this. Does God hate anybody? Does God he hate any people on earth? He said that he loved Jacob. Uh-huh. And what? But he hated Esau. I'm yeah, sure. okay. Absolutely. So now was it just what? Esau that he hated? Uh, no, but see, that's where the leaves start. So why not just start there? Because let the first be last and the last be first. So we're going to keep no, 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 it no, the no, way so. the words say it's supposed to be. Okay, uh, so. I, I, and I'm not here to. Uh, right, right, I understand. Uh, 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 or I'm here to rebuke, but not in a way where it, it's, 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 uh, it's harming. But it's more like trying to grow this community. Because it, it, ain't this what this about? If it ain't about. If, if it ain't about building, then we doing it all wrong. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, like, and, so, and, so is and, it okay for us to I'm hate this? I'm telling you, this isn't going to work. Okay. So, Fair okay. So, so let me so ask you this, brother. Real we quick. need a practical solution. Oh, and, we, and we have that. So, but give us an opportunity uh, what is to explain it. it. Because Come this back. ain't it. I'm, I'm going to tell you right you, now. This ain't going to work. Come back to Even God's laws. What you supposed I'm going to tell you right now, brother. You have to go. More, I'm saying, if we, if we really care. Give me Ecclesiastes because 5 and 1 right there. Ain't nobody gonna listen to your words. They need to see. They need the, to see action. The, they need to see what, what these words produce. So, but check it, check this out real quick, Ken, okay? Check this out, okay? Because we have a blueprint on what we need to do as a nation of people. What we have already tried hasn't worked. Our people as a whole have not tried keeping God's commandments. That's ever. Right. That's it's right. never been a time period in history in which uh -huh. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans okay. came back they to keeping God's example. laws. Okay, that's and, why. We, and that's the thing. So let me first, before I move on. They don't know no it, better. Let me, let me ask you and this. And we ain't showing Brother, them. let me ask you this. Is it we, okay? Is we, it okay for us to hate We're speaking words at them. Brother, real quick. And Is making it, them feel bad. Brother, don't hear it. Give me this Ecclesiastes No, because five, you five, are one, not right. hearing. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. Bring it up. Keep thy foot. He said, do what? Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. Nigga, nigga, keep thy foot. When thou go to the house of God. So when you come to the house of God, hey, watch your step, man. And what up? And be more ready to hear. I just talk all the time. And be more ready to hear. Oh, nigga, Bible. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fool. Right, so the Most High says for us to be more ready to hear. That's the issue with our people. We all got an opinion on something. Give me some rock three and twenty-four. We all have an opinion, but the solution. Every, nobody's coming with solution based on. I usually sit from afar though and listen. Okay. Five and 12, what I'm saying chapter is, five and verse 12. Bring this up, so three. Okay, but hold on one second, King. I'm going to answer your question. Go to right. Chapter 3, verse 24. Bring it up. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. What does the Bible say? For, For many, many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Read it one more time. For, For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Right, so the Bible says many are deceived by their own vain opinions. If it's not coming, thus saith the Lord, and your opinion don't matter. Right. I'm saying that's what the Bible okay. tells us. Okay. Right. So it has to be thus saith the Lord. Right. Give me. Uh, keep going on that. 
I mean, wasn't that? And the evil suspicion I keep it has overthrown the their judgment. So the evil what are you talking about? Uh -huh. I kept a scripture to the T. What, 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 you what did you say about? that was scripture? Jacob and Esau, but Esau had my hate. I mean, no, everything that I was saying, I lined it. I came back and gave you scripture. Brother, that, you didn't give no scripture. You only gave one precept. You got it there. When you, when you, when you go okay, back and look at Romans 9 and 13. No, I'm not going to say it again. Okay, okay, you said Romans 9 and 13. That. Okay, so but now, now, you didn't answer my question when I asked it to you. I said, oh. is, it, is it okay for us to hate Esau? Yeah. Because we're supposed to emulate God. Okay, okay. Then, so you say we got to get hatred out of our heart. Why would you say that if you no, understand no, 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 that we no, have no, to no, towards Esau. our own. We don't have I ain't talking about. Now, this is what I was trying to ask you earlier. Because, in Ezekiel, uh, right. because, see, what I'm saying is we try. We try. So we're going to disagree about certain ways. But what we shouldn't do is not respect the fact that we disagree. Listen, we can respect the fact, but ultimately, we're going to tell you what God is going to do to you. We're going to tell you what God is going to do to you. Live that, okay, and it needs to look quick. like that. It needs to look like that you're doing that. Okay, hold on, brother. We, we're gonna answer your question. This, this, right. this whole chapter is gonna answer your question. Right, bring right. this out, go ahead. A Ezekiel, new version of the old chapter shit three, we've been verse doing. eight. Bring it up. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their face. I uh, did what? I Behold, have, I have made their face. face. I have made thy face strong against their faces. So the Most High is talking to Ezekiel right now, saying, look, I've made your face stronger than their faces, talking about the people that oppose God and keeping his laws. Right. So when you see us matching the energy I'm of somebody who's I'm coming grateful. at us in a negative way, hey, that's us, that's the Most High making our faces no, I stronger than their faces. I'm tell Hold you on, let us finish. Let us finish, near me in any and kind of way. Foreheads strong against their forehead. And the Most High is making our foreheads strong because our people is hard headed. Stiff necked people, rebellious, don't yeah. want to hear nothing, don't believe that be no good can come from a nigga's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So the Most High said he had to make the prophets, the men of God, their foreheads stronger than the heads of the oppositions. Right, go ahead. As in, as a emirate harder than Flint. Have I made thy forehead? I know you like to break that one down. S say your piece on that one, Elder. Okay, so flint is a stone that's so hard that at one point in time in history, they didn't even think it could be cut. It's that hard. And then further in history, they developed the method to, to be able to drill and cut that stone. But at one point, the stone was so hard, it could never even be cut. So that's the reason why that example of how hard our people head is is in the Bible oh, because Flint headed. is one of the hardest stone known to mankind. No. I oh, back. Yeah, no. And, that, and that's, that, that's 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 why the Most High said He had to make our minds because we were going to deal with Negroes like this. You know what I'm saying? But now check this out. Our intention is not to come out here and fight. But let me let me get let me let me just get a few more scriptures to and then I'll allow you to speak. Let me I'll give me a few more scriptures and I'll allow you to speak. Second Timothy chapter two and verse twenty four. Bring it out. Second uh, Timothy two and twenty four. And the servant of the Lord must not uh, strive, but be gentle unto all men. Yeah, the Bible tells us we must not strive, but be gentle. That is our intermediate goal when coming out here. However, we'll 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 turn the page and we'll get like Ezekiel on. We'll get like Jeremiah on. We'll get like Isaiah on. Right, but go ahead. Up unto uh, teach patient. Uh, have to teach patient, go ahead. And meekness instruct, instructing those that op oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledge, acknowledging of the truth. Right. So peradventure the Most High gives them to, uh, to over to acknowledge the truth. We have to come in the spirit of meekness and gentleness and kindness. Now, but ultimately what we have to understand is that God himself had prophesied through his servants that all of our people was not going to receive this word. It's written, two-thirds of our people will die here in America right, for right. rejecting God's word. Right. So not everybody's going to wake up. Likewise, during the time of who I like to mention, Harriet Tubman, when she freed a lot of the slaves. She said, I could have freed a lot more if only they knew they were free. That's right. Uh, 
she could have freed a lot more. Yeah. But a lot of people want to stay in, in the mentality I of being it. a slave, of being a servant. I know. You see what I'm saying? So hold that, give me Isaiah 2815. I'm going to get you so, uh, just two more precepts, and then I'm going to allow you to speak. In Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Bring it up. Ezekiel chapter 3, 17. Bring it up. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. I have made thee a what? I, I have made, made thee a, a watchman. watchman. Right, so what we are as being servants and teachers and and, and uh, for the word of the Most High, the Most High made us watchmen. We watch over the people. And we didn't finish that in Leviticus 19 and 17, but we'll go back there, right? Because what we're doing in watching over the people, we're, we're making sure our people are not sinning against God. Right. That's why we tell our people, hey, sister, you can't dress uh, 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 provocatively. You know what I'm saying? Hey, brothers, you, hey, you got to grow your beard. You know what I'm saying? You got to wear your fringes. We tell our people to keep the Sabbath day holy. Hey, if it don't grow, it's, hey, you grow what you can. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> I, I, I ain't ever say. Okay, okay, that's good though. So, but ultimately, the Most High made us watchmen over the people so that we're not going off. Likewise, you have elders within our communities that told us not to do certain things because, you know, it, it would not benefit us. You know what I'm saying? Whether, whatever the case may be, you had OGs in the neighborhood that would tell you, hey, don't, don't, do, don't move like this, don't, don't operate in that spirit or that energy. You know what I'm saying? You want to you know, you know, make wise decisions. You have people that lace your tennis shoes on how to move in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So but, uh, keep going on this. We are watchmen. Go ahead. A watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Give them what? And give them warning from me. So we're out here to give our people a warning of the coming destruction upon America, man. The coming judgment of World War III, civil war, race wars breaking off in America. All these things are going to come to pass. A famine is coming to America. All these things are going to come to pass. Keep going on that, King. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. So the wicked are going to die. You know what I'm saying? And the Most High tells us to let the wicked know. If you don't repent from the evil that you're doing, you're going to die. Right. We can't sugarcoat the word for nobody. Right. We have to tell you, thus saith the Lord. Absolutely. Right? Go ahead. And thou give him not warning. So if, we, he t if he says the wicked is going to die, and we don't come out here and warn the wicked of our people. Right? Go ahead. Nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. To what? To, to save, save his life. life. What are we out here to do? To, to save, save his life. life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Right, so that same wicked nigga that we you seen us just dealing with, he's going to die in his sins. Right. Because that was that was a person who did not want to be free from the slavery that he is under. In, uh, under with the so-called white man. He wanted to remain in the same energy and spirit that he was in. So hey, look, if we don't warn him, hey, guess what's gonna happen to us? Go ahead. But his blood will I require at thy head. Because if we didn't warn him, listen to us, brother. If we didn't warn him, God said his blood, he was gonna require at our hands. That would be blood on our hands if we don't come out here and warn any of our people about the wickedness that they're doing. Right, go ahead. 19. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turns not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Right, so when we tell somebody and warn the wicked, hey, he's going to die in his iniquity, but we deliver our own souls when we warn our people. You see what I'm saying? So this is what, and you got the other one? What's that one? Isaiah 28 and 15, brother. 28 and 15. Come on, so, brother, now, do you hear what we're saying as far as what our people need to do in following the law, statutes, and commandments I of God? I agree with everything you're saying. 19 and 17, huh? I agree with everything you're saying. I'm not disagreeing. Okay, so now, what is caused, because you said you've heard the word before. You used to sit in the background sometimes. I'm you would a hear. pastor's son. You're a pastor's son. So, uh, All right, I so know now, the words. Okay, so you know the word. Yes. Do you, uh, do you have any actions behind knowing it? Because knowing is only what? Half the battle, brother. That's true. Right. It's not enough to just know the word of got God. Actions behind it. And right. I, I have a passion for it more than you can even comprehend. Yeah, we know a lot of our people have a passion for it. Give me Romans chapter 10 and verse 2 right quick. A lot of our people have passion. We, we, we got some faithful believers in the Sunday church. Yeah, we, we wouldn't recommend the I Sunday woke church. Up on fire one day. Huh? I woke up on fire one day. Okay. I want you to think about this. Yeah. 
I woke up on fire one day. We, we, uh, we, go, we got a perfect The scripture. Hebrew words. I uh -huh. said, I know, I know from experience. 10, verse 2. Let's see if you know. know For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. Have a what? That they have a zeal of God. Have a what? That they have a zeal of God. The word zeal translates to what? Fire. Right. Being on fire, burning right. for the Lord. Okay. He said, they have a zeal of God, his people, go ahead. But not I'm according to knowledge. What? But not according, according to knowledge. knowledge. No, I have a zeal. But, but not according, according to knowledge. knowledge. Woke up on fire. But, but not, not according, according to knowledge. knowledge. He said, my people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Our people go to the church faithfully and they praise, dance, and they sing in these hallelujah songs, but they don't have the knowledge of the Lord. Right. They don't right. have the knowledge. That, what right. is the knowledge that God is referring to? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now what is the knowledge that, that God wants our people to have? Give me Hosea 4 and 6 right, right quick. Give me some rock 19 and 19. You don't man. need that. That's what, we gonna come back that's to what too. change attention, and that's what changed the whole yeah, tension in and what's going on. Because now it goes from, from the word to ego. Brother, Why? What, brother, I'm asking Why? you a question, no, brother. See, no, because see, this is, if you want to be, if you want the word to work, if you want things, brother, what's, to, if you, you want people to you see your question message, real quick, brother? you need to become a master of brother, what you're doing. Brother, what's your name, man? I'm trying to tell you that this ain't going to work. Pastor son, pastor son. Pastor Son, what is the knowledge that God is referring to? That's why I spoke on Brother, what is the knowledge that God is referring to? Huh? What is the knowledge that God is referring to? Huh? Yours? Yours? The owl. The, the, the knowledge of the owl? Brother. I'm talking about who? You. Bro, give me this scripture, this scripture right quick, and then we get Sirach. <laughs> 19 and 19 minutes. Uh, 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 Hosea no, 4 and 6. Gone, my people man. are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I'm, I'm saying so you go. My are people are, are destroyed for no lack of knowledge. What did God say? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What does the pastor say? My, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Going to the Christian church? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I have a zeal for God more than you know. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So God said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. I ask you, what is the knowledge that God is referring to? Keep going on this, King. Because thou has rejected knowledge. What did that Negro do earlier? Because thou has rejected knowledge. What did that Negro do earlier? Because thou has rejected knowledge. What does this nigga do earlier? Because thou has rejected knowledge. Do a third of us know this. I will also reject thee. 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 I believe in Buddha. I will also reject thee. I will also reject thee. I'm a Catholic. I will also reject thee. Pope says gay marriage is okay. I will also reject thee. Look, the Most High said he's rejecting all of that because that's not the knowledge. God is referring to that he wants our people to have, right? Go ahead, bring us, what's the knowledge? Let's find out the knowledge that God wants, go ahead. This is Sirach 19, verse 19. Bring it up. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord, what? The, the knowledge, knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. What did God say? The, the knowledge, knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. Of the, of the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. Pay attention. Bring it I'm up. attacking the structure of what's going on is the you doctrine of life is the what the is the doctrine, doctrine of life what is the knowledge of the commandment is, is the doctrine of life is the doctrine of life is the doctrine of life keeping the sabbath day holy is the doctrine of life celebrating the new moon is the doctrine of life celebrating the passover is the doctrine of life celebrating the day of is it's the doctrine of life celebrating first school is the doctrine of life celebrating the day of atonement is the doctrine of life celebrating the feast of tabernacles is the doctrine of life Celebrating the feast of dedication is the, the doctrine, doctrine of life. life. Look, keeping the commandments is the doctrine of life. That's, That's right. how you get eternal life. Right. Keeping God's commandments. Not being a pastor, son. Not waking up on fire. You know what I'm saying? Not, not going to church on Sundays. Okay. Not being okay. a Catholic. What I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, you cannot tell me that the Holy Spirit was not upon me. And I woke up on fire. 
and I ain't got a burn on me. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? If that ain't the power of God, I don't know what the power of God is. Give me Luke chapter 24 and verse 32 right quick. Luke chapter 24. Okay, I got best of all did there, right? Huh? Give me uh, Acts chapter 5 and 32. Yeah, I'll drop that. Give me Acts chapter 5 and verse 32. We'll go back there. Yeah, man. That's madness, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a chronic nugget. <laughs> yeah, you got, you, got a, you got a hot demon on you, brother. All right? That is not, you know what I'm saying, the Holy Ghost of the Lord. Yeah, that fight. Bring this out right quick. This is Act 5 and uh, 32. And we are his witness of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Also what? Also the Holy Ghost. Also what? Also the Holy Ghost. Whom God have given to them that obey him. He gave it to whom? That do what? Whom God have given to them that obey him. That what? That obey him. That what? That obey him. So God gives you the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, to those that obey him. Right. What does it mean to obey God? Does it mean just waking up one day and you are on fire? Hey, right. look, and, and not a tinch, and not a tinch of fire touched you, man. You're not burned at all. Is that what it's referring to? <laughs> right. So how do you get that? Give me Deuteronomy 11 and 26. Let's find out, man. Hey, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, man. That's how you get the knowledge, man. Right, go ahead, bring it out. Deuteronomy 11, 26, King. Uh, Deuteronomy 11, 26. Uh -huh. Behold, I said before you, this day a blessing and a curse. Hey, what? A blessing, blessing and a curse. curse. What are people dealing with? A, a blessing, blessing and a curse. And a curse. I said, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Go ahead. A blessing if ye obey the commandment of the Lord your God, which I, I commanded you this day, and a curse if ye will not obey the commandment of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I commanded you this day. Oh, that was it on that king. Yeah, come. So he said, a blessing and a curse if you obey, a blessing if you obey, and a curse if you disobey. And right now, a lot of our people are disobeying God, man. Right now, he's getting fed by Brother Marvin. Brother Marvin, you feeding him that Christian dogma? Come on now, Brother Marvin. Le like, come on, Brother Marvin. <laughs> you know, don't, 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 trim, don't trim your ways for the brother, man. <laughs> Trimmest thou not thy ways. Right? Uh, let, let's get back to that Isaiah 33 and 6 right quick. And then what was the other one I said to go back to? Romans? Yeah, we, yeah let's get back there right quick. Because our people want to establish their own righteousness, man. And that's all he was trying to allude to. You establish your own righteousness. Oh, but I woke up on fire one day. You mean to tell me the Lord, I didn't have the Holy Spirit upon me when I woke up on fire? Now get burned. Brother, come on now. Yeah, <laughs> keep going on that. Verse 3, Romans chapter 10, verse 3. For, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness. What? For they being, being ignorant, ignorant of, of God's, God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. What is he doing? And going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Right, and have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God, man. So the Most High, is he's, he wants our people to refrain from trying to establish your own righteousness, your own idea of what righteousness is, which a lot of our people do, man. They have a major issue with coming back to keep God's laws. But they will make sure they, they will not, if, the, if a police officer is right behind them in traffic, if they see a police officer when they stop at a 7-Eleven, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They make sure, hey look, they got the seat belt on, you know what I'm saying? They sitting up straight and they got both hands on the steering wheel, you know what I'm saying? Jake start talking proper, come on, good evening sir. <laughs> <laughs> take their hat off. Right. Like, take their hat off. Take their hat and put it on their chest like back back in slavery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, how you doing, sir? Uh, you, need, you, you need your coffee paid for, sir? I, I, I can pay it for you. I shows don't mind paying it for y'all. You sure? Well, you, you have you a blessed day now. You know what I'm saying? They get, they get in full Negro yeah. mode. Full Negro mode when it comes to, when they see a white man in that uniform, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you'll shuck and jive all you want to for the white man, but for God and his laws, 
hey, our people got an issue, man. Can't do it. It's an issue. Hey, look, it's over 40,000 laws in America. God, the Bible has 613, man. Right. That's it. That's it. That's a huge difference, man. Yep. If you could keep 40,000 laws here in America, some you already know instinctively to keep, but you can't keep 613 laws in the Bible, man. 613. That's all the Lord asking. He ain't asking for much, man. He ain't asking you to do nothing wild, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but you got the uh, Isaiah 33 and the. Uh, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy time he said in what and wisdom, wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy time and wisdom and what wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy time all right so wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy times meaning what the only thing that you're going to have left to stand on when all hell breaks loose is that you have the wisdom and knowledge of the most high god the Most High's wisdom and knowledge is not going to be amongst every single person in these last days. People are going to be in search of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. They're going to be want, they they they're going to be trying to figure out what the Most High, you know, uh, uh, what we was teaching on these corners when we stopped coming out here, man. Brother's not going to be out here forever, man. And, and when the Most High finally closes that door, it's a wrap for you. That's what that means. When you stop seeing brothers teaching on the street corners. It is a wrap. The Most High have sealed the mouth of the prophets. Hey, that door is now closed. You gonna be trying to look for it all you want to? Hey, what do they say? You wear one fringe? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Do, do, do you? You, 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 you gosh, I gotta shave it off and then grow it? Do I, is that what I, that's how you did it, brother? What do I gotta do? You gonna be trying to figure it out, and it's gonna be too late. The sister gonna be wondering, oh, is it the skirt? Is it you know? Do it, can I have a slant in it? You know what I'm saying? Do I? You know? trying to figure it out, man. It's going to be too late, man. The Most High has a limited time. It's limited time access, just like you have on, on a sale, man. You know what I'm saying? They have sales all the time. They say, hey, look, it ends by December 31st. Hey, that sale is over with, man. Yep. You better get it while you can. Get it while the getting is good, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Most High has a limited time. You have a precept, King? Yeah. Bring it up. This is Matthew 24, 37. Bring it up. But as the days of Noah were, so, uh, so shall also the coming of the southern man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. They were what? They, they were, were eating, eating and, and drinking, drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came. And knew what? And, and knew, knew not until the flood, flood came. What's gonna happen with our people? And, and knew not, not until the flood came. came. And took them all away what? and they took, took them, them all away. away so look the most high said hey, they knew not until the flood came man and took them all away likewise it's going to happen when the son of man returns man when he makes his second coming it's going to be another flood peter <laughs> talks about that it's going to be another flood but this time that's a new man right yeah, there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a sober man right there man it is right, yeah. All praises to the right most high, man. All praises to the most high, man. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Come on, come on. Come on, man. That's beautiful. All praises, man. Brother Gad, man. He like giving himself, you know what I'm saying, to sobriety, man. Come on. All praises. So, you missed a whole lot, Gad. But nonetheless, we're going we gonna to continue on. If you see any unclean spirits, Pastor, we're going to handle it accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So. But like the brother may mention, they knew not until the flood came. Peter talked about another flood coming upon the earth, man. I believe in 2 Peter chapter 2. He talks about a flood, not a flood of, uh, uh, of water this time. It's going to be a flood of fire destroying the earth, man. Right. So people are not, they, they, they don't have the spiritual wherewithal to be able to see what's coming to America. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you got these chief, chief countries, chief kingdoms in the earth. They're preparing... And I think recent, just earlier today, I actually seen something about uh, Russia was threatening to take over a, a, a few um, American uh, naval bases. Uh, naval, bases. naval bases, right? They were threatening to take over a few American naval bases. And that's going to come to pass. China sitting there face to face with Joe Biden, Xi Jinping, looking Joe Biden in the eyes and telling him, we're taking Taiwan. That's an ally of yours. We don't care. That's our territory. That's checkmate. Yeah, checkmate. You know what I'm saying? So this is what's going on on the earth. 
And our people are constantly focused on, on folly and madness, man. Can the Eagles get the number one seed in the NFL? You know what I'm saying? Will the 49ers do it? Can the Cowboys, you delusional Cowboys fans, <laughs> can, can the Cowboys win it all this year? You know what I'm saying? Our people are focused on nothing. The, the, the Lakers won the in-season tournament championship. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know what I'm saying? People going back about these things, man. You know what I'm saying? They they know our people know all the low, I mean all the uh, the stats, man. They they know Kareem Abdul Jabbar's stats in high school, man. How much he averaged. You know what I'm saying? Hey, do you know that, King? Brother Yashirala? Oh, no. You look like a man that made <laughs> Hey, Brother Yashirala don't know nothing about that, man. All praise be to the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> hey look, your mind shouldn't be focused on the things of this world. It's okay to entertain yourselves at various times, you know, but it's a balance to everything. You know what I'm saying? The most high says a just weight is his delight. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay to give yourself time to, you know, ha have some type of pleasure. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, your focus should be solely upon the most high, man. Even when you're in the midst of having fun, your thoughts should be on, you know, most high, you know, allow me to make it home safely or whatever, whatever the case may be. Be with me at all times. You should be meditating on it on that on a daily basis on whatever you're doing. You at work, you know, in the thick of it. You know what I'm uh, saying? Laboring, but you're giving, your mind should be on God, you know, get me through this day. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll bring it out real quick. Psalm chapter one, verse two. Get out. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. But his what? But his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in power. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in sport. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Right, so his delight is in the law of the Lord, go ahead. And in his law do he meditate day and night. What? And in his law do he meditate day and night. He meditates on the chakra. And in his law do he meditate day and night. The six senses, bro. And in his law do he meditate day and night. The cranial vortex. Right in, right in the brain, brother. You know about the cranial vortex. Go ahead. And in his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. And that's where we ultimately want to be, man. We want to be Isaiah 61 and verse 3. Trees of righteousness, man. The most High says, you know, you your planet, your, your, pretty much your tree is going to be fruitful, man. You're going to have nothing but, you know, a, a good fruit growing from your tree so that other people can pick pick at your tree and eat from, man. Right. And they can also blossom into something beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you'd just be walking as a an unpleasant tree. You know what I'm saying? You just, uh, you know, you, ain't nobody going to pick out a tree that got some rotten fruit on it, man. Nah. Nobody's going to pick out a tree that got, and this is why Christ said, you shall know them by their fruits, man. You're going to know a person by what, what fruit they produce. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of our people that are producing bad fruit. Can you give me that, say, John, uh, 738 right quick? And hey, what was that one I had you holding? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, so that, that was it on that one. Give me uh, Isaiah 28 and 15 right quick. Uh, St. John 738, back to the Holy Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when I'm at like an hour. So okay, God. It's probably a little less than that. Go ahead. John 7, 38. He that believes on me, as the scriptures have said. Say what? He that he believes in me, me as, as the scriptures, scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his what? Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right, so if you believe upon the Lord as the scripture has said, not as your own thoughts, not as how you want the most high or his son to be portrayed. But you, you believe on him as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters, man. You know what I'm saying? That's you being filled with the Holy Spirit and that water being the, the uh, you know, uh, uh, the living uh, the living waters, man. You know what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit flowing within you. You know what I'm saying? To have the knowledge and wherewithal on how to serve. Let me see that verse 39 right quick. Yeah, go ahead, bring that up. But this spake he of the Spirit. But this what? But, but this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him shall receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Yahweh was not 
yet glorified. Right. So, you know, and through the spirit of the most high, we now have that Holy Spirit, right? You know what I'm saying? And he gives it again to those that obey him, right? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to wake up one day and just be on fire. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you know it all. You know the truth. You know the knowledge. You're a pastor's son. And that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? You think you're good because you're a pastor's son. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's action required. Like my brother Yashrala bring you out all the time. First Samuel 2 and what? 23? Yeah. Nine. Action. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but give me uh, Luke 20, 24 and 32 right there. Luke 24 and 32 and bring this out right there. Um, Isaiah 28 and 15. Because we have, uh, we have said, we have made a covenant with the death. He said, because you have said, you have made a covenant with what? With death. With death. death. What? With, with death. death. And with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made.